Nepal's betrayal against India has the dragon's footprints all over it too. Tonight we bring you the story of China's not so hidden hand in Nepal. The mind behind Nepal's divorce with India. Her name is Hu Yang Ki. She's the Chinese ambassador to Kathmandu and a wolf warrior who's ensuring that China's will is enforced in Nepal by hook or by crook. A social media star, a formidable brand ambassador of Nepal tourism, an expert on Nepal's fascinating culture, and a self-appointed mentor for the Nepalese media. Meet Ho Yang Kui, the Chinese regime's ambassador to the Himalayan Republic. Not too long ago, Ms. Yang Kui triggered a social media firestorm with her sharply worded statement on the Nepalese media. She had reprimanded the Kathmandu Post for apparently smearing the efforts of the Chinese government during this pandemic. She had declared that China reserves the right to further action against the newspaper. It's been three months and now she is being called the architect of Nepal's map dispute with India. Ho Yang Kui is said to have been a key inspiring factor in KP Sharma Ali's unanticipated decision to redraw Nepal's map. According to Intel sources in New Delhi, the Chinese envoy has been a frequent guest at the Nepal Prime Minister's office and residence in recent weeks. That's not all. The Nepalese delegation, instrumental in drafting the controversial map bill, is said to have been in touch with this Chinese ambassador. Reports further state that the Chinese embassy pushed Nepal Communist Party leaders to fuel anti-India sentiments. The NCP's youth wing has staged several protests this month to gather public support against India. Such backdoor efforts by the Chinese embassy are said to have forced Comrade Ali to fast-track the map bill. And orchestrating all these activities was the Chinese ambassador, Ho Yang Kui. Nepal is not the only country where this glamorous diplomat has expanded China's foothold. In the past, she has done a three-year stint at the Chinese embassy in Islamabad. The 50-year-old diplomat is said to be an Urdu-speaking specialist in Pakistan and Afghanistan affairs. During her stint at the Chinese Foreign Ministry, she is also said to have worked closely on issues concerning Tibetans and Uyghurs. The Chinese state media describes her as a valuable national asset somebody who is increasing Beijing's soft power on social media and strengthening China's grip on its vassal states. Bureau Report, Weon, World is One.